Hello guys, welcome back to this video and today I am just going to show you how to install Snow Leopard 10.6.6i by Hazard on your virtual box only on Intel PC. Don't try on AMD. I will. I am not sure if any damage goes to your PC during the installation in AMD. So I suggest you to do this on Intel PC. You can find another video to do on AMD. So this is only for Intel. So first of all, you have to go to down download ISO by Hazard. The link is in description as I already downloaded and extracted. Now I got this ISO. You can see dot ISO extension. After that, you have to download VirtualBox. The link also is in description below. So after that, you have install VirtualBox. Download and install. You have to just open the VirtualBox. And I will see the welcome to VirtualBox bar here. Now you have to just click on a new button here. And now type a name for your virtual machine. As in this case, I will type it Mac. Now just 64 bit and next and uh, my I have a two two GB of RAM so in the virtual machine we create a half of the RAM so in this case one zero two four one thousand two twenty four MB RAMs next create next next create okay now you have to see the setting tab here just click on that and now you will see system button here just uncheck floppy if you don't have I don't have floppy so I uncheck it please and check this it is a very important if you don't uncheck this you will not able to install a mac on your pc just uncheck that go to display make it 128 mb on its default and enable 3d acceleration storage you will see empty SATA here just click on that cd icon down there and choose a, your iso file here is my um my iso by hazard just open that and select ok now you are all done just click on the star button right down here and then ok now virtual box is starting as you can see camel and boot order which is pre-installed on the hazard iso just click on uh, type and the button I, in this case i press enter and you will see apple logo it will take you to the installation screen it takes apple logo boot takes about three to four minutes to boot depending on your pc performance and your ram it takes me along to one or two minutes as i have only two gb ref and the virtual machine i and i gave virtual machine about one gb ram but uh, for snow leopard do it only if you have a snow leopard only if you have a 512 mv of ram minimum system requirement and intel cpu sse2 you can download cpus to check whether your pc cpu is not sse2 the link of that software is also in description below so let's wait to take it to take us to the installation page it will take quite a long time so keep calm and just wait and watch you can type also boot flag if you have, you have a props face any problem in the starting you can type any boot flag like minus so all the boot flag are in the description so you can try any of them and we are going to we are on the installation page without any problem this means we have all done successfully and do very right sorry for the english i use because i don't i am not english i am indian so you can use your language by the way i am from india so i will select Turkish or but i in this case i will select to use english for my main language because for showing you all people are understanding english so i just select this language it will preparing 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 installation now you are on the continue you don't have to continue because you have to prepare your disk for because mac is a not a windows but we have a digital it window so we have to prepare a disk you will see our our your virtual box disk here now you have to go to partition select a partition in this case you can give any of your partition like 3 4 16 any but i will give only two partition not only one this is a partition you can name a partition as macintosh hd you can i will name it macintosh you can name it anything you want you can name it your name also so so make sure it is selected to journal and you have to click on the apply button now down there at partition it will erase your drive and make it your mac mac os extended journal we have done with utilities now we have can click on continue now it will welcome to the hazard ios installation you can check your minimum requirement if you meet with minimum you can go to the installation or you can abort it i am 
customize you have to just customize okay this is a cam this is a main page of this installation because if you don't have select any boot flags or bootloaders or drivers you will be able to run your mac os x so first of all we have the main thing is camel and bootloader without it you cannot boot to your snow leopard kernel this both selected now drivers go to drivers graphics if you have a ati graphics select ati if you have a intel you can select intel if you have a nvidia you can select nvidia but i have intel so i will select my intel graphic card sound uh, i don't want sound network i want i will lan so you can so lan uh, i have intel okay vlan i don't have by file laptop i i am using it on my computer so i don't want to check it on laptop you can uncheck it if you are using it on laptop because uh, but in code it is a in because it is a all the package for the laptop okay go to chipset no need there set up ata i select set up ata select all patches additional font if you want additional font i don't want select it to the for you can select x x11 i just don't want that to click on okay and just install it it will take quite long about 15 to 20 minutes so i will post the video and when it's done i will back to you and the installation so we are back and installation is done it's take our 17 minutes i, I was to the time now and uh, so let's click on the continue it say additional information let us say mac os is installed on your computer if you raise and reinstall mac os use application installation disk to install the live okay continue and it will say to start your computer computer start now what now we see this panic call so let's close the virtual machine there is a power off the machine a four footage so go to setting again um when you go to setting the system i mean storage and you can see hazard or iso just remove this from virtual drive and press okay and click on the start button okay i feel do sub all thing good then it will boot from that but is showing macintosh hd now it will boot okay it is boot from the bootloader macintosh hd so it takes time to boot if if you done all thing correct that it will successfully boot and we go to the registration page from where we can use our mac so let it be done it takes some time i think so if this my net internet is not working wait let me check why let me unplug my cable so what it's showing apple internet la254xe ethernet but i don't know what it is showing but uh, it's something kernel cache
so yes we done everything correct now we are on the installation page you can see the welcome here so now select your country i am from india so let's check let's select india from that here is the india continue now you have to select your keyboard i use us keyboard continue now don't transfer my information now continue i don't already on a mac that's why i install hacking tools well can i just click on the continue So we install Mac on this computer. Now you can see the virtual the so Mac is running. So you can see that mm, this is working fine and we successfully installed it on a virtual box. So you can see that mm, widgets. Oh now let's check if Safari is working or not. Let me 
tap Google. Internet is not working because my computer internet is not working. If your computer internet is working, then internet will work on that. Thank you for watching this video. You can now use Mac and feel like Mac. Thanks for watching this. Please subscribe and like this video. And for more videos, please comment below. I will upload for it for you. So, thanks for watching this video. Soon I will upload a video on Mavericks on VirtualBox. Thanks again.